this chapter we will be dealing with quantitative data. So let's take a look at this display right over here. This histogram actually has bins. We'll zoom in on it and take a look. The bins go from 0 to 4, 4 to 8. Now it's important to know that the left is the very start of the bin. So this one goes from 0 to 3.9999. This one starts at 4 and goes from 4 to 7.9999. This is quantitative data in a graphical format. So let's take a look right here. This histogram is definitely bimodal, breaking the word down bi meaning two and mode meaning most often, or that's what the word stands for. We have two most often, two clear peaks. One way we often talk about this is does it look like two mountain ranges or does it look like just little a tiny dip? And this is a clear mountain here and this is a clear mountain. This would be bimodal. Next, is the left cluster symmetric or skewed? Now, when we talk about skew, it's which way is it pulled out? And this is often denoted by the tail. Looking in here at the left cluster, you will see that the tail is pulled to the right. Imagine you've taken this histogram and pulled it out in one direction. This has been pulled out to the right, so it has a right skew. Which of the following best describes the center of the left cluster? For this question, look at the peak. This is how it wants you to answer this. We'll have more ways of determining center later on. But look ahead at this peak right here, and this is between the 4 to 8 for the left cluster. Is the right cluster symmetric or skewed? Although not perfect, you can see maybe the tiniest bit of right skew, but that's not going to count. This one is a good example of a symmetric cluster right here. That would be a unimodal symmetric cluster, so let's go ahead and say it is symmetric. Which of the following best describes the center of the right cluster? We will zoom in again and see that the center is contained between 32 to 36, although 36 is not labeled right here, 36 is the end of this bin. What is the spread of the entire data set? Now it's interesting. We can't get an exact number for this, but we can get an estimate. It goes from about 0 to 44. Because we do not know if it goes all the way to 0 or all the way to 44, and technically it can't even because the bin ends at 43.99. With that said, we will assume for this problem that there is data around 0 and there is data all the way up here. So the data ranges from 0 to 44. Which of the following best describes the reason for the shape of the histogram? Well, there's obviously two different types here. And to me, it seems like there are ones marketed to kids and there are those marketed to adults. For this problem, use the same technique I've previously been using. Approximately what percent of these vineyards are at or over 210 acres. Now for this problem right here, let's zoom in again. Here is 210. And be very careful. We see this goes across right here. There's 10 in this bin, and then there's 13 in this one. If you notice, these are the ones with more than 210. There could be one right at 210, but let's say safely that these are all the ones 210 or over. And it does say at or over 210. That is 10 here and 13 here for a total of 23 out of 43. 23 out of 43 is 53.48. So 53.48 rounds to 53. Be very careful on your rounding. Is this distribution unimodal, uniform, or bimodal? Now let's describe all three of those words. Uniform means one form. And that's when you'll see a flat sort of box shape uniform. It's a flat box that I'm making here with the cursor. Unimodal is things like the standard normal or the bell-shaped curve we usually call it and it has just one mode. It could also be really high or it could be kind of flat but still just have one mode, one most often. Bimodal was what we saw in the previous problem where there's two clear peaks where there's a valley between the two. Now let's go ahead and decide that it is unimodal. 
Next, is this distribution symmetric or skewed? Symmetric would be that we could fold it over on top of itself and it would look the same on either side, but this is definitely skewed. Skewed which way? The tail right here has been pulled out to the left. Remember, if you were to take it and pull it in one direction, which way is it being pulled? This one is being pulled to the left. Which of the following best describes the center? When something is skewed, we use the median for the center and the IQR for the spread. So we definitely want to use the median because it is skewed left and it has an outlier. Conversely, when something is symmetric, we will use the mean and standard deviation as a measure of center and spread. What is the spread of the data? And we can see it goes from down about zero right here all the way to 270. Zero to 270. Describe any unusual features. Um, basically, this outlier right here is maybe the unusual feature. It is, but not too unusual. It's just a strong left skews distribution, but we will go ahead and say the outlier is the unusual feature. If you notice, this histogram right here is definitely unimodal. Not as peaked as the other one, but we do see one most often here in the center. Is it skewed left, right, or symmetric? This one has the tail pulled out to the left again. If you notice, it's pulled out to the left side. What is the center of the histogram? Now, for the center of the histogram, we're kind of looking at the median. And the center of the histogram, we're going to go ahead and go in here. These questions aren't perfectly written. You'll sometimes see that with the course compass. But go ahead at the very center, and we are going to go, say, 10. The way I found that was I went to the mode, which we'll use a slightly different way of talking about this later on. We would rather prefer to use the median since it's skewed, but this does not give you the median. If on a test you were asked this question, you would want to give the median, but unfortunately we do not have that, so we would go ahead and give this center right here for this question. What is the spread? And right here it looks like well, these are just individual bins if you look at it. This is the bin for 0, this is the bin for 1, and all the way up here is the bin for 13. So this is a little bit different way of doing it that we don't see that often. So we have from 1 to 13 is the spread of the data. Describe any unusual features. There really isn't anything unusual, and that is not unusual it's just that there's nothing. It's just a left skewed unimodal distribution. Good luck with the rest of the homeworks.